Let's face it, last month's selection was pretty weak, but luckily Netflix seems to be making up for it with a completely loaded release schedule this March. Welcome back everyone, Matthew here with Cinegold, and today we're going to be taking a look at all the top new releases on Netflix in March 2024. There's a lot to get through, so let's go ahead and start things off on March 1st. I did not intend to frighten you, skinny human. Do not be afraid. I'm losing my mind. The first big release of the month is Spaceman. This is a sci-fi drama about an astronaut who is sent on a mission to the edge of the solar system but finds his relationship with his wife failing back home. Desperate to fix things, he is aided by a mysterious creature from the beginning of time that's lurking on his ship. Spaceman is based on the 2017 novel Spaceman of Bohemia and stars Adam Sandler. It's directed by Johan Rank, who directed the critic acclaimed miniseries Chernobyl. Spaceman releases on March 1st. Now what happens down there? Then on the 7th is The Gentleman. This is a series by director Guy Ritchie and is a spin-off of his 2019 movie of the same name. Ritchie is the British director of numerous hit movies such as Snatch, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, Sherlock Holmes, and The Covenant amongst others. This eight episode series sees Eddie inherit a large country estate that just happens to be a part of a cannabis empire. Also releasing on the 7th is the German limited series Series, the Signal. Polar. This is a four-part mystery drama about a scientist who goes missing from the International Space Station, unleashing a gigantic mystery for her husband to solve. I need you to listen to me now. I don't trust them. They may be royalty, but that doesn't make them good people. Next on March 8th is the movie Damsel. This is a dark fantasy that follows a noble woman who agrees to marry a handsome prince only to discover that his family intends to sacrifice her to repay an ancient debt. Trapped in the cave of a fearsome dragon, she must rely on her wits and will to survive. Netflix must have high hopes for Damsel as they've been promoting it pretty hard. It stars Millie Bobby Brown and is directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo, who is probably most known for directing the movie 28 Weeks Later. Then on on March 15th is Irish Wish. This is a romantic comedy starring Lindsay Lohan about a bridesmaid at a wedding in Ireland who makes a wish for true love causing her to wake up as the bride-to-be. They are coming and there's nothing you can do to stop them. On March 21st, the one I'm personally looking forward to the most, Three Body Problem. This is a sci-fi series about a young woman whose fateful decision in 1960s China echoes across space and time to a group of brilliant scientists in the present day. As the laws of nature unravel before their eyes, five former colleagues reunite to confront the greatest threat in humanity's history. This series is based on the best-selling Chinese novels of the same name and is being headed by the same team as Game of Thrones. The novels are really good and pretty ambitious, so if the showrunners can get this right, it's got a chance to be Netflix's next big series. Then on the 22nd is Shirley. I have something I want to tell you. I am running for president. Of the United States? Holy. This is a biopic about Shirley Chisholm, who was the first black woman to be voted into the U.S. Congress and who also ran for president in 1972. The film stars Academy Award winner Regina King, as well as Terrence Howard, and recently deceased Lance Reddick. It was written and directed by John Ridley, the Academy Award winning writer of 12 Years a Slave. On March 29th is The Wages of Fear. This is a remake of the 1953 French thriller about a team that has 24 hours to drive two truckloads of nitroglycerin across a hostile landscape in order to prevent a deadly explosion. Now here's a bunch more new releases I'm going to cover real quick starting with Furies. This is a French crime thriller series about a peacekeeper in the Paris criminal underworld. It releases on March 1st along with Mamla Legal High, a Bollywood comedy series, and My Name is Lo Kiwan, a K-drama about a North Korean 
Korean defector. On the sixth is Super Sex, a biopic series about Italian porn star Rocco Zaffredi. On the seventh is the animated series Pokemon Horizons. Teen drama series Young Royal Season 3 comes out on the 11th. Turning Point, The Bomb and the Cold War, a docuseries about the Cold War releases on March 12th. A new Mexican adventure series about a Mayan treasure hunt called Banditos comes out on the 13th. Art of Love, a Turkish crime movie about an art thief comes out on the 14th. Murder Mubarak, a Bollywood mystery movie comes out on the 15th. And on the 29th is The Beautiful Game, a film about the Homeless World Cup. As for some licensed movies, the US gets The Amazing Spider-Man Collection on the 1st, the series Vikings on the 30th, and The Hunger Games Collection on the 31st. The UK gets The Matrix Resurrections on the 9th, Canada gets Black Adam on the 16th, and The Martian on the 22nd. And Australia gets Spider-Man No Way Home on the 16th, and Uncharted on the 27th. So a decent amount to choose from this month. Let me know in the comments which ones you're looking forward to the most. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much everybody. I will see you soon.